Yo, what's up? Do you remember this video? Yeah, this one. So, see that? You just gonna keep playing back and boom, overload. <laughs> oh, yeah, that video. Man, that computer showed me both Evan and. <laughs> Heck, don't let me use the word I'm not trying to use. Both Evan and Heck, that computer showed me. Pete, hey, chineke me, shege. But yeah, it was still my favorite computer up until uh, a few days ago. Yeah, because today in this video, we're going to be doing something. And in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the drum roll, please. We are unboxing the M1 Max MacBook Pro, the 16 inch uh, M1 Max MacBook Pro, and it is here live and direct. It was delivered a couple of days back. Without further ado, let's go. I don't want to give everything away yet because I'm not reviewing. I have not spent any time with it to review, but it's only unboxing. So let's go. Boom right here baby it is here oh my god this is so chunky i'm hoping it will stay ah okay let's unbox this ah. oh my god i'm gonna mess this up Yep. This packaging is crazy. All right. Woo. Look at that boy. Man. All right, let's get into it. It's time to shine. I just threw that away. Actually, I'm gonna pick it up. Whew! Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at that chunky boy, man. It's in space gray. I'm gonna throw this away. And. Before we open this, I'm going to get back to this. Okay. Okay. Let's see what's in the box. Of course, the charger, the new style they're doing now, not the USB-C charger. It's the MagSafe one, just like my old MacBook Pro. I like the MagSafe, honestly speaking. Uh, you know, some Apple stuff. Documentation and Apple sticker. If you like to put apple sticker all around in your house all your stuff you got some of that in here too right here you can see that right uh the charger the brick charger actually for the charger if you want to enjoy this thing you gotta get this you gotta get this extra stuff the power adapter extension cable right so if you want to kind of extend the charger a little bit more right you gotta get this so this will cost you an extra 25 bucks 25 dollars or so i don't know uh yeah let's rip it open and uh we got the mark save right here let's open it up it's all about opening. Okay, overexcited. I want to rip everything open. 
keep all this mess. That's all. That's all in the box. Boom. Now let's get back to this. Ooh, the moment of truth. The moment of truth. Are you guys ready? Look at that sound! Oh no way! Ooh! Can you see that? Right there. Yeah. This is insanely beautiful. Yeah, it's time to set this thing up and let's get it running. If you're like me and you like to make sure these things are well intact and in good shape, I always have to make sure I have a cover and a casing. All this setup, I'm gonna have to do it behind the screen for you guys. I'm gonna do it later on. And so, uh, yeah, man, this is awesome. MagSafe. Headphones, headphone is back in the left side just like the way I like it. On the M1, the first version of the M1 MacBook Pros, actually the M1 MacBook, because I don't think those ones are pro. It was here and I just hated it. I like it in here, right? This is just where it's supposed to be. And thankfully, memory card slot is back, HDMI port is back, and you still have uh you know three thunderbolt usb-c port on the mark safe i mean come on and again i've had complaint that this thing is so heavy right i mean to me it doesn't feel heavy right i'm holding it with one hand i mean i'm doing it carefully of course because you know what i'm saying but you can still hold it with one hand comfortably you know uh, i think i think it's nice you can hold it with one hand comfortably you'll be fine and uh yeah this touch id uh, so they took out the you know the touch bar and everything but it's still touch ID for you and uh, hey the keyboard is gonna be nice uh, I think it's gonna I think it looks fantastic the speaker is already I mean the little sound I had the other time is already sounding good but I'm still gonna be doing all of that test for you guys in the review of this MacBook Pro I have so much stuff uh, lined up for you um, about this MacBook Pro that I will be sharing with you guys, uh, you know, in a couple of videos to come. I use this in church, you know, main stage, everything, all that stuff that we do. Uh, sometimes I can run some plugins or some effects on my old MacBook Pro without causing problems, right? Trying to run some patches of Omnisphere or Keyscape is just a problem, right? So I'm gonna be taking this to church and sharing with you guys how the performance is. We're gonna be texting this thing, we're gonna be giving so much load to Ando. And let's see what the beast of a thing is. And yeah, this is a two terabyte SSD. It is about 64 gig of RAM uh, inside, full max that you can get for the M1 Max. I decided to go all the way in because yeah, that's what you should do. Uh, if you're trying to use this for work, this is not, uh, you know, leisure Netflix kind of computer because you use it for work. It's a pro computer where you use it to kind of, you know, edit movies, YouTube videos that you're watching, uh, you know, music production and all of that. So that's all what this MacBook Pro is going to be used for. So, yeah. And uh, a lot of things that I have, you know, coming up for this, for these uh, MacBook Pro that I will share with you guys. I have them all written down and I'm going to be getting into that one by one. If you have any question about what you want me to, you know, do about this review and things you want me to share about this computer, drop it below. I can add it to the list and make a video about it. Guys, stay tuned for that and make sure. So one other thing I want to talk about is the spec, right? Uh, what kind of spec it is and uh, what, uh, how did I kind of spec it up? So it's the M1 Max with a 10 core CPU, right? And 12 core GPU. I already told you 64 gig of RAM and all of that, uh, you know. And if you're gonna get this in uh, Apple Store right now, this 
can cost you uh, a little bit, about But again, like I said, this may be overkill for a leisure computer or anything, but if you use it for work, I think it's gonna be worth it. Uh, but it, you know, by by virtue of working with my old computer, I think it has, you know, worked for the money as much as possible. And it's already tired. I showed you the previous video. It's already tired. So it's time for an upgrade. And that's why we're doing this right now. And I think it's gonna be nice. And this is gonna be the work us for the studio, music production, video editing for the next couple of years. I mean, next couple of years. As a musician, I was torn in between, should I get a new, you know, the Apollo audio interface, which is one of the things I wanna have. Uh, you know, the emulations are fantastic, the preamp and all of that. Or you need a new computer. And I think a new computer is okay for me now because I can get so many things done mixing wise with third party plugins like Plugin Alliance and uh, Waves and Fab Filter and you know, IQ Multimedia and all of those companies can give you nice plugins and Slate Digital as well, right? Get really nice sounding mixes out of that without necessarily using the UHD and I can still record uh, nice vocals with my old audio interface for now, right? So the, next, the, the really good thing is to have a computer in the studio that is less noisy, it doesn't make any noise, it's quiet as much as possible and it's reliable and it's super fast because you want to make sure your clients are happy. So that's what I'm trying to do right here and that's why this computer has to come now. So yeah. Yeah, stay tuned uh, for some of the things that will be coming, the videos that I have coming up for you guys. It's a whole lot of things that I want to test and I want to try out and it will be coming. So you guys stay tuned for that. If you have not subscribed, make sure you pause right now and click that subscribe button. Alright? Do you need this MacBook Pro? From what I've heard, from the power that the MacBook Pro you know, has to offer, not everybody needs this MacBook Pro right now. Okay, If you think you need it, then go get it. If you think you don't need it, then you probably don't need it because it's super powerful and it's super nice and it's super fast and all of that. But if you think you are not doing crazy mixing and you're doing basic production that doesn't need to run multiple plugins and multiple VSTs, maybe you don't need it, right? Uh, if you think you're just starting out and trying to learn how to make music, then you don't need it. I can tell you, you don't need it. If you're just starting to use Logic or you're starting to use Pro Tools and you're still finding your way around it, I promise you, you don't need it. A $1,000 MacBook Pro will get you by. My old computer is a $1,000 MacBook Pro that I got from Facebook Market. It served me for, you know, over three years right now and it has generated enough money to buy a new one. Yeah, I'm telling you that for sure. So you may not need it if you don't do heavy stuff, but if you do heavy stuff and your current computer is, you know, decent, you know, computer and is already crying, then maybe you need the new upgrade. So I just want to put that one out there. If you think you need it, you need it. I know a lot of plugins are not compatible yet, which I'm going to be sharing with you guys when I make those videos. So make sure you subscribe for that, like I said, but I know those are, you know, companies and those plugin manufacturers are going to be catching up in a, in the while right now they're going to be catching up in a little bit while uh i think many of them are already compatible with an with an m1 native plugins and uh that's just going to be how it's going to be in the next few months all these companies are going to catch up all right so yeah and i'm going to bring to you guys if i find any updates and uh uh, that's all that's gonna go on this video and I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy it Make sure you like subscribe share with a friend and comment below what you want me to shoot for you What you want me to share about this computer and I hope you'll be liking it. You'll be loving the content So until next time you Stay calm stay cool stay at peace and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers Bye.